Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Max for Live's Convolution Reverb Pro, which is a free download. If you have Max for Live, you just go grab it on the website over there at Ableton.com. I'll leave a link on the blog. Obviously, if you don't have it, you need to have it. It's incredible and it's free, so like, uh, there's no reason not to have it. But anyway, Convolution Reverb is an incredible form of reverb that really emulates places and you can make your own IRs which are impulse responses. I've made like, I think I made 200 a while back. I'll leave a link to that as well. If you want to go download them, they're free, they're high quality and they were taken from a number of different popular reverb plugins. But all that aside, today I'm going to show you a really neat trick that you might not know about if you've already have Convolution Reverb or if you're new to it, you want to know about this trick. First of all, let's just check out the sound that I have. So that's super lame, but as soon as I turn on the Convolution Reverb Pro, super lush sound. And we have so many, so, so many uh, different preset banks. And these are the ones I made before, but as soon as you click a preset bank, the IR will load up a number of impulse responses for each one of the banks. So here I'm inside of this one, I could just choose this and I have a whole different set of reverbs. But one thing you might not know is that you can drop anything in there. So if I come into any one of these sample packs, I'm just over here on this uh, Leon switch pack and I've got some effects here, watch what happens. It's creating a reverb from that sound file. And another thing that's really cool about the Convolution Reverb Pro Max for Live device is now that I've dropped this sound source in here from my user library, the samples folder, I can actually cycle through them with just using these menus down here. So look at that. That's changed that, that sound into something like really atmospheric, something you might want to put in some glitch hop or something. I mean, you could do this with any of these files, man. So obviously the sky's the limit with that. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Peace.